Uh-uh, Capricorns, come in the building. Come on in the building, Capricorns. How are y'all? How are y'all? hope everyone is doing well. Look, we're getting ready to do December 15th through the 31st general reads. All right, so we're going to pop it off with a few love cards, and then we're going to go into general reads. Oh, we got a jumper here, codependency. Okay, so addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right, are there some addictions here? Is there a sense of codependency here? What other messages do you have for Capricorns? Are you depending on someone? Is someone dependent on you? That's also like the devil card, which is the card of Capricorn. But there it talks about being clingy, clinging on to a situation, feeling captive, um, possessiveness. Ooh. All right. We have calling in your soulmate. We have you deserve love and love yourself first. Okay, I think I'm going to keep these three. And the bottom of the deck, guys, we have passion. So there's some passion that you have for someone. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Mm, sounds scrumptious, Cappies. Okay, so let's see. What messages do you have for Capricorns? Please give me clarifiers for Capricorns. What messages do you have for Capricorns? Capricorns have some passion for someone. Okay. Uh, what messages do you have for Cappies? This is for December the 15th through the 31st. All right. So let's see. All right, guys. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool card. Okay, so this is the card of Sagittarius, but this is also talks about taking a leap of faith. Um, but what's underneath that is the nine of wands, which talks about being cautious. Okay, so it's like look before you jump. Okay, look before you leap is what I'm sensing. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Nice, Captain. Nice, nice. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. So past energy, Cappies. We have calling in your soulmate. Okay. So the first card that popped out, however, is the devil card, which is the card of Capricorn. Okay. So this is you. You're looking for a soulmate. Okay. Definitely. You're looking at your options here. Okay, you may have a lot of different cups here, but are they being filled? Are your cups being filled? You could be daydreaming, fantasizing about what you're looking for in a partner, okay, in your soulmate. That was past energy. So maybe you could have been doing some soul searching. Maybe some of you guys could have been dealing with a Virgo. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here with these cups here. Present energy, we have you deserve love, okay? So you are lovable. But I'm sensing that you are possibly having a hard time on trying to move on from possibly a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? We have the two of swords. This is indecision, okay? This is indecision. This is not being able to make a decision mind you in the past energy i do see that you guys have lots of options okay but with that two of swords we have the six of swords so this is like saying like i'm not sure how to move on i'm not sure if i can move on okay i'm not sure how to do this i know i deserve i know i'm lovable i know what i deserve but there could be a pisces cancer scorpio or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, guys, that you guys are possibly having a hard time moving on from, okay? Feeling like you can't move on, you can't move forward. You're having too many options and you can't really think about exactly what it is that you, how to move. You know what you want, but I'm sensing that you don't know how to get what you want. I feel like going into the near future, we definitely have love yourself first. It's going to make you more romantically attractive. So some of you guys are going to be putting yourself first or putting yourself in the forefront. And I see you getting lots of attention. I see this being a success for you. All right. And I do sense that maybe you're waiting for a second chance. You're waiting for a second chance to come around. I feel like if a second chance was to come around. It'll be successful. 
Um, I feel like some of you guys have decided to put yourself first. And once you do that, it does definitely makes you more romantically attractive. Um, once you learn how to love yourself first, it shows the other individual that, okay, you love, you know how to love yourself. So I feel like you can properly love me because you put yourself first. It's definitely hard to date someone or um, be attracted to someone who does not know how to love themselves or always is constantly putting other people first because it's simply telling the other person that you don't love yourself enough. Okay. You're not putting yourself first. So you don't love yourself enough. Okay. So I feel like some of you guys are going to be definitely putting yourself first. I feel like some of you guys, there is a second chance on the situation um, coming to the surface. This is something that you've been waiting on. And I feel like, um, is going to be second is going to be successful this time around what additional messages do you have for capricorns what additional messages do you have for capricorns this is for december 15th through 31st So bottom of the deck, we have you guys here with this King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. Okay, so maybe there's something that you can't resist or you can't, you're not sure how to hold on to something. You're not sure how to keep something here. That Four of Pentacles, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy as well, but that is like a clinginess um, holding on tight to something and i'm sensing like not sure how to keep something oh wow okay wow okay 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 Wow, guys. The first card we have is the Ten of Swords. This is, you guys could possibly feel in like there is a ending here or something. Um, is There could possibly be some type of betrayal, okay? But the Ten of Swords does, this guy is stabbed in the back, okay? He's feeling betrayed. There's some type of ending. But I feel like there's like no chance. You're feeling like there's no opportunity or you haven't had the chance to do something or the timing wasn't right. Something was off. Something you're feeling like something wasn't right here with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, or this could be about your finances. OK. But I feel like I'm sensing like you haven't had a chance to talk about something maybe there's some details that are missing here that you haven't had a chance or the timing wasn't right for you to talk about this with this page of wands and this page of swords definitely talks about communication and with this page of swords this is definitely spying or gossiping and i'm sensing gossiping because we have these two pages here which talks about definitely communication but there could have been something that was left out now like i said this could also pertain to some of you capricorns this could be in regards to finances okay because we have this five of pentacles here which talks about feelings of rejection or left out in the cold okay so in the past i feel as if you could have been dealing with something heartbreaking here something could have broken your heart okay someone could have broken your heart there could have been a third party situation there could have been something that was devastating and i'm sensing devastating here because we have this ten of swords here as how you feel but i feel like you gave your heart to something that was temporary or you put something you gave you gave something you gave something here because we have the six of pentacles here you gave something here, but I'm sensing that something possibly did not go the way you thought it would go. 
Why is the Knight of Wands here? Could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. But something... I feel like you were just... There's lots of uncertainty here. Maybe you're not sure why something went the way it did, but I'm definitely sensing. Why is the Three of Swords here? Let's just clear this up right now. Why is the Three of Swords here? Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius. I'm here with the Star card at the bottom of the deck, but this definitely is like this communication is very, very harsh. This type of energy is when someone is speaking very harshly. Um, I mean, not harshly, but they they think logically. So it could come off as harsh, um, but they're straight to the point. It's like getting down to the nitty gritty, the truth of the matter. With this queen of swords, with this sword here, she's coming to cut through. The cut through, get straight to the point. Find out the truth. Let's get down to it. Blunt, okay? But there was something definitely heartbreaking here. I feel like maybe there was um, a situation with things being mutual. And maybe some of you guys, I can sense that there may have been a breakup here. We have this nine of pentacles here, which is the singles card, okay? Which is uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. But this does talk about being a bachelor or a bachelorette, okay? Something from your past, something about your your past. Maybe you keep, you're continuing to think about your past here. Your past um, is, it's like a constant reminder, okay? I'm sensing a constant reminder. I'm sensing that you're trying to catch someone in a lie here. We got the Page of Cups. And the seven of swords and the eight of swords. I feel like it's like you're trying to catch someone in a lie. It's definitely what I'm sensing. So maybe you feel betrayed, okay? But I feel like going into the near future, we have the ten of pentacles, which is being financially stable as well. For some of you guys, this could be a financial situation. I feel like this is stability here with this ten of pentacles. Could also be dealing with relationships also as well as family. But paired here with the Seven of Cups, these are definitely options. So maybe you have lots of options in front of you going into the near future. Maybe you're having lots of people who are wanting a, a stable um, relationship with you. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius here with this temperance card, but this does talks about, I feel like you're going to be trying to balance out your options. Okay, I feel like you're wanting to make the best decision, um, possibly in regards to stability. Um, and I feel like there's a sense of you're trying to balance out your options. Okay, I feel like you're, want, you're coming to a point where you feel like a decision is needed to be made and you're trying to weigh out your options. Okay. I definitely do want to know why this Ten of Swords is here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Ten of Swords here for Capricorns. Okay. We got the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, Energy. I'm sensing that there's a sense of betrayal. I feel like some of you guys are feeling betrayed. I'm feeling stabbed in the back. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Maybe stabbed in the back by a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I want to know why this Ace of Pentacles is here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Or there could be some type of ending here with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? All right, we have the Fool. So this is like a new start, a new beginning. So maybe there was a false start or something. Um, let's see. I'm definitely sensing the need to feel cautious on something starting starting something new, like it's like tiptoeing um, on whether or not if you should give this a fresh new start, if this deserves a new start here with this fool card. Why is this fool card here? 
I'm sensing like an opportunity or a chance ended. What's the fool here? We got this. I'm definitely sensing fire energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, but there could be, you know, lots of passion. Maybe there's lots of passion that you have here for this person. Definitely sensing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy here with this Ace of Cups and with this Lover's card here. So, you know, I feel like there's lots of emotions and feelings here that you have for this person. Um, but I'm definitely sensing that there either is some type of, I'm sensing like betrayal is what I'm getting. I'm sensing betrayal. I'm feeling like you guys feel like you gave someone a lot. You gave someone your heart and they broke it, maybe with their words or how they said something or some some type of truth. But I feel like right now your desires is I feel like you could be possibly trying to catch someone, catch them in a lie to see if, you know, they're going to be honest or if they're lying about something. But I do feel like you guys a lot of you guys have other options here. And I feel like either you're trying to balance those options out or you're definitely trying to you're trying to make a decision here. Okay, there's a time coming into the near future where you're trying to make a decision. A decision is is coming to a point where a decision has to be made. Please give me past, present, future energy for Capricorns. Okay. All right, Cappies, we got the Six of Swords, okay? So this is an acceptance of a situation or this is moving on from a situation, okay? All right, so maybe there is a relationship that you have moved on from or you're trying to move on from. Maybe this person could possibly even be at a distance from you, okay? But this is definitely like moving on from um, a relationship here. Past energy, guys, I feel like things happened really, really quickly. Like things changed a lot. I feel like there were lots and lots and lots of changes here. I feel like presently, I feel like you are definitely trying to stand your ground um, and defend yourself, stand up for yourself, putting yourself first. And I definitely do feel like going into the near future, you're going to find happiness and balance, okay? Feel like you're going to find happiness and balance and you're going to be stepping up to the plate and and going after what it is that exactly that you want here with this king of wands okay i'm definitely sensing i'm telling you, you guys have options okay you guys have options and i do feel as if i do feel as if there's some type of happiness and balance um going into the near future there's definitely here with this ten of cups and this justice card there could be a libra involved i'm sensing fire energy leo sagittarius aries pisces cancer scorpio and i'm also seeing cancer's energy as well too but i do feel like some of you guys are playing some of you guys are playing why is the seven of cups here Some of you guys are past doing having some real passionate moments here. Why is the seven of cups here? King of Swords. Oh, and the moon um, was in reverse. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Pisces, but I'm the truth, some type of truth. It's like waiting for some type of truth to be revealed here. I'm definitely sensing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy as well, too. I'm definitely sensing Pisces, 
Pisces energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Cancer, Scorpio. But I do feel like some truth is getting ready to be revealed. Okay. I feel like this is something that you could have possibly been waiting on. Um, and I feel like there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved here. Okay. I feel like you're giving some this some this situation some serious thought as well going into the near future. Um, I feel like there's some serious um deep thought here as well okay all right cappies i hope you guys enjoyed your reading this is for december 15th through the 31st if you would like to book a personal reading with the empress i'll leave that information in the description box below okay all right guys ciao for now